so my PS3 got the you know, live death and I'm gonna try to do the hair dryer trick see if it fixes it well I hope it does cuz I wanna deactivate my account and try to back up my stuff but just unplug it oh yeah and I got it while playing Call of Duty online I've heard lots of people guarding it while playing that game Probably causes your PS3 to overheat due to too much pain. So what I'm gonna do is um, I got my PS3 box. I've heard that you could put it on the sweater or anything, wrap it around and stuff. But I'm just gonna do this. So I put this. It's kind of hard to record with one hand. I mean to do everything with one hand. Flip my PS3 around. The fans gotta be facing you. So should be like this. And just place it inside the box or wrap it on the sweater. Maybe I wanna do. So there is I got my hair dryer. I'm not sure but I'm gonna put it to let's see minus a degree setting level. I'm gonna set it higher than 150. Let me find something here real quick. I switched it to 150. Well, I'm not sure I want to mount my PS3, but so. switch it a little bit more down, just to be safer. I don't want to melt it and cause break. Anyways, I'm signing it. I'm sending it to Sony. Um, in a couple of days, if I have warranty, I'm going to have to pay for it. But I just want to try to get deactivate my account so I don't have to buy everything, especially the Zombies map. I just bought it last week on release day, and it'll be a bummer having to buy it again. So if this trick doesn't work, I guess I'll just... Rely on Sony to get a refurbished one. But alright. So I'm gonna put mine on high setting and I'm gonna set a timer with my iPod starting. Start. Keep it three inches away so that it doesn't overheat it and melt it. Because if something inside melts, then basically your PS3 won't work anymore because you melt a chip or the motherboard. So just keep that in mind. And then, of course, you're going to need a fan. I'm going to put mine on high level for 20 minutes to cool it off after I'm done. And yeah, so I'm going to pause this video. And 15 minutes later, I'll come back. Just going to sit here doing this. Which might be kind of boring, but hey, you can fix your PS3. So yeah, I'll be back. All right. So as you can see, um, we're down to 13 seconds, or well, now 10, and I just keep doing this. Just move it across fast, slowly, but just do it over the fence and. And we're done. Just turn it off. Alright, okay. So, um, some things I forgot to mention was, um, make sure your hard drive's out. You don't want them in there because might overheat or something might break. And that's not good if it does. Well, let's see. Let's take this out. It doesn't look like anything melted. But it's pretty hot. 
It's actually if you put your hand there, it burns. But well, I was um using my hair dryer on high, and I touched my PS3, and it was getting pretty hot. So I just put it on low for a while, so that it didn't melt or anything. But it's up to you what you want to do. You can melt it, and something chips might melt in there, or they might not. So it's up your choice. And also, I'm not responsible for your PS3 breaking or anything or uh, even though it's already broken but you breaking it more making the chips melt so let's just take it out and what you want to do is just get it ah oh, it's pretty hot just get it um get your fan or something Put it on the well. I'm gonna put it on the highest setting, and I want to spin. But let's see, just let me get my box. You don't gotta do this. I'm just gonna put it on top of the box so that it's um equal. That's a pretty that's a pretty good distance so I'm just gonna set a timer for about let's see I would say for about 15 17 minutes is good I'm gonna put 17 just two more extra minutes in the heating but this doesn't really matter just set it there and that's like the other video, I'll be back. Just gonna let it cool down and then I'll just plug it in and we'll be good to go, see if it works. And also, what you wanna do, just before I go, I'm gonna tell you, um, like I said, take your hard drive out and when you're done with this and you're about to connect it, don't connect it with the hard drive on because your data will get corrupted. So plug it in first and if it works, turn it off and could put your data, your um, hard drive, and turn it on and you should be good to go. And just do whatever you want. Try to back up your data to another PS3 and yeah, hope it works for you guys. I hope it works for me because I really want to deactivate my account. And yeah, so I'll be back. Alright, so as you can see it's done. Exactly 17, oh no, I did not start, but exactly 17 minutes have passed since I put the the fan. And so I'm just going to turn it off now and move out of the way. And let's see. My PS3 is pretty cold. It's not hot. But, wait, yo. Um, just wait a second. Be back real fast. Alright, sorry about that, but I'm back, so, so the PS3 is pretty cooled off. See, my, my hard drive's out. It's pretty cool. And just plug it in. Alright, set it. HDMI cable. That's kind of hard. All right, now I want to plug in the power cable. 
just like this one. Alright. Oh my god. I hope it works. Fuck! It works! Look a controller full. We don't have much time. Calm down. Where's the controller? So yeah, that's how you do it. But um, anyways. We're still sending it to Sony. I forgot to say it. All right, it turns on, as you can see. The so when the, starting? Wait, no, you idiot. You got to know, cause we don't. We don't got a hard drive. You're supposed to put it in, cause if you. There, I got it on. Let's hope it works. Come on. All right. There. Call my account. So yeah, I'm just gonna deactivate it. So yeah, thanks for.